welcome you to the Ford Amphitheater at the Coney Island Boardwalk. It's the PBC on NBC. Kenny Albert, along with the current WBA middleweight champion, Daniel Jacobs. Coming up, a 12-round welterweight world title eliminator. The tail of the tape brought to you by Corona, who invites you to find your beach. Two former U.S. Olympians, 26-year-old Errol Spence Jr., unbeaten at 20 and 0. And 41-year-old Leonard Bundu, 33 and 1, with two draws. A look at the rules, no standing, eight count, no three knockdown rule. Only the referee can stop the fight. Fighter cannot be saved by the bell in any round, and the fight will become official after four rounds. 12 rounds in the welterweight division to ring announcer Ray Flores. Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon and welcome to the Ford Amphitheater here in Coney Island, New York. Live on NBC, this is Premier Boxing Champions. The action begins with 12 rounds in the welterweight division. Introducing first fighting out of the red corner, wearing the red and the white. His professional record, 33 wins, one loss, two bouts even. 12 wins coming by way of knockouts. Fighting out of Florence, Italy. Here is Leonard, the Lion of Bundu. And across the ring, his opponent fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the blue and the gold. As a professional, he is undefeated. 20 wins, 17 of those coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of DeSoto, Texas. He is the 2012 U.S. Olympian, Errol The Truth Spence Jr. Leonard. Errol. All right. Leonard, Errol, we received you some instructions in the dressing room. I want you to protect yourself at all times. Above all, obey my commands at all times. First command is right now. Touch gloves. When the bell rings, box. Good luck. The instructions from the referee, Johnny Callis. Daniel, a lot at stake today for both Errol Spence Jr. and Leonard Bundu. Absolutely, you have to understand. It's either now or never for uh, Bundoon. He's 41 years of age, and if he could get a victory tonight, he would have ready, baby? the opportunity to get a world ready, championship. Yeah. But especially Go. for uh, this young man here, who has uh, people have a lot of high hopes for this guy. He's going to be his coming out party, and then with an impressive victory, he has a world opportunity shot waiting by the corner. Errol Spence Jr., a 2012 Olympian in London. Bundu. Italy back in the 2000 Summer Games in Sydney. What do you look for early? Well, I look for Bundu to apply that pressure that he normally has. He's an inside fighter. Uh, he's a very experienced fighter as well. He's switching on the inside, back and forth. So he's been tricky. Uh, he said in the fighting meeting yesterday that he's going to apply that uh, into the ring tonight. So I'm looking forward to Bundu being uh, very aggressive. Errol Spence for Southpaw with a two and a half inch height advantage on Leonard. Bundu, who is a native of Sierra Leone, but is currently based in Florida, right, Italy. Right, right. Watch the holding and don't push on the face. Originally from Brentwood, New York, on Long Island, but moved to Texas at a very young age. Currently lives in DeSoto, Texas. Spent 71 career rounds in 20 pro bouts. Up against the much more experience, at least at the uh, professional ranks of Bundu. He turned pro at the age of 30, 11 years ago, when Errol Spence was just 15 years of age. Oh, big difference in uh, age, big difference in experience. This guy's been around for a very long time. And like I said before, that will go to his credit if he can apply that to him. Midway through round one from the Ford Amphitheater and Tony Allen. <laughs> And you mentioned Daniel that uh, Bundu certainly has the ability to switch them up to right, Southpaw right. three times. Watch the low blow, watch the hand. Especially for a young fighter who hasn't seen a style like this before. And Errol Spence, he's going to have to, Errol Spence going to have to adapt in this fight. And he's going to have to show that true grit and skill that we all know he has. We saw the uh, left hook. And then the right for Spence. <laughs> Final minute, 
the round one. Scheduled for 12. What have you noticed earlier, David? I've noticed Eric Spence taking his time. And that's what he said in the fighters meeting. He said he's going to be patient, especially with this veteran guy. He's going to be patient. He's going to take his time and pick his shots. And Mundoon is coming out, and he's trying to apply that aggression. So it's been a good round so far. Mundoon has said, quote, this is my last chance. At the age of 41, he's lost only once. Back in 2014. And that will do it for From Cody Island. Errol Spence Jr. and Leonard Bundu. There's the IBF welterweight eliminated. The winner will be the mandatory challenger for the title. Spence Jr. at 20 and 0. 17 and 9 knockout, including two KOs in his last seven bouts. Moody at 33 and 1 with two draws. His only loss coming at the hands of Keith Thurman. Yeah, Moody says Spence is still great. He hasn't been tested yet. He hasn't been pushed to the limits, and that's what he plans to do tonight. He's been doing a good job so far. He's applied a lot of pressure, and I like what I'm seeing from both fighters. Who did you give the edge to in round one? I give the edge a little to Bundu as far as the aggression. Although Spence landed some key shots, I just think the aggression is some of the punches that he landed. Uh, Bundu might have slipped that round. Spence in the blue and gold trunks. Bundu in the red trunks with white and red. Watch Spence. Oh, no. Spence. No knockdown. the ropes. Good sportsmanship. The referee Johnny Callis. Break, don't punch. Step back. Callis will step in. A couple of body shots by Spence. And then with the left That's really what Spence is known for. He's a, a really vicious body puncher. And his jab is amazing as well. So if he can put those together all night, it's going to be a long night for Bundu. And you look at the numbers, Daniel. In his last four fights, Spence landed. 47% of his power punches. That's amazing. Anytime you have a, a, a young fighter uh, who can land more than 40% of his power punches, uh, he has a bright future. Final minute, round two, scheduled for 12. fighter and this is the key to his what he says is the key to the winning this fight but you can see combinations punches and punches and this is going to serve him well Voodoo fighting in the united states for the third time is that a good surprise to you Great, don't, punch, don't, punch, don't punch don't punch what's surprising right. to me is the role reversal i expected errol spence to come out aggressive because i felt like he's the young guy he wants to make a statement and yet it's been reversed Bundu has come out aggressive, but he wants to show this young, what he considers the young guy, uh, uh, some old tricks. Will be fighting with desperation on his mind. He has said this is my last chance at the age of 41. As we check in with 
Eric Raskin, Eric. I have it scored uh, two rounds to nothing, 20 to 18 in favor of Errol Spence, although I will say, in uh, in terms of what Bundu's doing well, as Danny pointed out, he's putting pressure on, he's having his moments. These are not blowout rounds, but I'm giving them to Spence for cleaner punching, and I love those left hands to the body. Those are really the difference for me through the first two rounds. Thanks, Eric. So 20, 18, Daniel, on Eric's scorecard. I have it one round apiece. I think uh, both fighters did enough just to win. Even though it's a close round, both fighters. And Bundo lands a nice short overhand left. This is a great fight. Round three scheduled for 12. The winner will become the mandatory challenger for the IBF welterweight title. Now a bunch of spins right here. 56% will do at 25%. Well, we talked about those numbers from Spencer's last four fights. Absolutely, precision is the key. Landing punches and making sure they're accurate and not and throwing non meaningful punches is not the key. He wants to be able to land those shots and be effective, especially with those body shots as Spence goes down with a nice jab to the body. Scheduled for 12. The first ever sporting event at the Ford Amphitheater at the Coney Island Boardwalk. It's a beautiful atmosphere. These Brooklyn fans are loving this fight so far. The one thing I noticed by Errol Spence, he said, these Brooklyn fans are organic. They will show if they like you, if they support you, and they love you. And it's been all support for both brothers tonight. And you know this. The Brooklyn fan base is one of everybody. Oh, absolutely. The Brooklyn fan base is amazing. Brooklyn boxing in general as a whole has been coming up within the years, and I'm just proud to be from Brooklyn, and I'm proud to be able to, you know, show my showcase here live. Now the 20 seconds remaining in round three. Who is at the edge of this round? I still give it to Earl Spence. He's doing the phenomenal job using his jab, using his great generalship, and that body work especially has been the key. Welcome back, Kenny Albert, Daniel Jacobs, Eric Raskin, and Dave Briggs from the Ford Amphitheater at the Coney Island Boardwalk. Round four, scheduled for 12. The IBF welterweight world title eliminator, Errol Spence Jr. and Leonard Bundu. Thirty twenty-seven in favor of. Errol Spence and Eric's scorecard over the first three rounds. Nice combination by Spence. Spence looks like he's picking his part. He's picking him apart now. He's starting to find his rhythm. He's starting to find what works for him. He needs to find it heavily. I'm letting him see if it's good so far. So four consecutive right jabs from Spence. And then he goes to the body. Comes back with the left hook. Very sharp. I'm, I'm loving this flow. I'm liking the way he's... Being able to apply not only the speed, but the defense as well. Spence, last four in mid-April. TKO in the fifth round of Chris Algieri, the former world champ who had never been knocked out, who went the distance with Manny Pacquiao and Amir Khan. Spence stopped him in round five. And has hit the ring. Spence landed a beautiful Corner. uppercut. And had Bundu mouthpiece right out the ring. Go make it quick. Canvas. You want to have another one? Make it quick. But you put it in. Hey, come on over. Hey. Two-time European welterweight champ. Time in. Making now, Kenny. The crowd is standing in ovation. Flurry of activity here in round four. Keep him up, keep him up. A hot humid day here in Brooklyn. Darrell Spence, used to the heat. Lives in DeSoto, Texas, 17 miles from Dallas. Often runs. Five or six miles 
the middle of the night, but it's a little bit cool. Down shot. It gets really hot in Texas. <laughs> but he's also bringing the heat tonight, so. As he lands a left hook, right to the face of Bundo. Telepathy punches. Landed and thrown. To this point, that's at 34%. Four step off the 12. Harold Spence Jr., the quick top national amateur welterweight champ. Won the national golden gloves back in 2009 in the welterweight division. Spence after a good start here in Brooklyn. Welcome back. Round five, scheduled for 12. Errol Spence, Jr. And Leonard Bundu. A 15-year age differential. Spence, 26. Bundu, 41. Bundu, born in 1974. Olympia, 2000. Turned pro at the age of 40 in 2005. 41 of his... 38 counts that have taken place in Italy. Two in England, two in Germany, and this is third here in the United States. And for the last 30 seconds, Earl Spence Jr. has just circled the ring using his combinations, using that beautiful jab, and, and using that distance. I mean, he's getting caught every now and then, but he still has the, the fundamentals down pat, and he has that range, which is the Watch key the to head, this fight. Push. Spence with a large number of friends and family members. Right, stop. In attendance, he was born on Long Island. Watch the headlock. Come on, give it clean. Still lives there. He refers to New York as his second home. Oh, good luck by Spence. As we alluded to before, Kenny, both fighters have an opportunity, the winner of this fight, to fight for a, a world championship against Kel Brook. And both fighters are excited because this is all that so they have a dream though. But as we know, Kel Brook has a fight schedule for Triple G in the middleweight division, which is kind of odd, but you know, both fighters still wanted that, that opportunity to fight for a championship. Right, the winner of this bout will be the mandatory challenger for the title in the IBF welterweight division as we approach one minute remaining in round five. sits on his punches, even though he can move and, 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 and move on the fly. I love how he can still land punches and sit on his punches because that's where the power punches come in. And when you actually do that, excuse me, when you actually do that, it's more effective. Back to 20 seconds. Six in Brooklyn, Errol Latruth Spence Jr. and Leonard Goliath Boondu. How did you see round five, Daniel? I gave it to Errol Spence Jr. He looked phenomenal in the early half of the fight. And that jab and the pivoting and the movement, he's coming together fairly well. This is only the fifth time in Spence's career that he has got to the sixth round. He has stopped 16 of his prior 20 opponents prior to round six. Well, you know, the investment that he's making to the body is oh. very hard. He's going to tire Bundu now if he can continue to land these shots. Now, remember, Bundu did go the distance with Keith Thurman. Yeah, and it said before that that was a very tough fight for him. 
his first fight in the USA, it was a lot of pressure for him. He got caught into the hype, but this fight, he says he's going to be 100%, but it seems to be all Harry Spence Jr. tonight. Spence able to duck out of the way. Two minutes remaining in round six. Scheduled for 12. Another body shot by Spence. Shots up top, and that's exactly what he did. We're knocking this gentleman out. Leonard Boudou, 41 years of age, who said, This is my last chance. And Spence closed out the bout by landing 15 of 19 power shots. Impressive. Got to give Boudou credit, though. He showed every bit of grit, every bit of heart. He knew this was his last opportunity, and he gave it all, and he went out on the shield. So Boudou, who started boxing at the age of 16, 25 years ago, loses for only the second time as a professional. First at the hands of Keith Thurman, and about that went the distance, and now Errol Spence Jr. victorious here in Brooklyn. As the two fighters embrace. Spence goes to 21 and 0, 18 via knockout. So the first knockdown, as we see Kenny, one of those great uppercuts as he pivots into the shot. It was an amazing shot, landed right on the chin and sent Boone down. down. As we also see again, the shot that ended it all, the uppercut followed by the right hook. It was lights out after that. Boone couldn't recover. And Earl Spence Jr. moves on to bigger and better things. As we see here, he's wrapping around his waist. He wants that world championship. He wants that opportunity to fight for the welterweight championship of the world. Well, he said, I want a world title this year. And he is now the mandatory challenger for the title in the IBF welterweight division. So the 2012 Olympian, Errol Spence Jr., Victorious as he stops 41 year old Leonard Bundu in round six. Welcome back to the Ford Amphitheater at Coney Island to look at Errol Spence Jr., who remains unbeaten at 21 and 0. Now to ring announcer Ray Flores. He's at two minutes, six seconds of the sixth round for your winner by knockout and still undefeated, Errol, the truth, Spence Jr. Well, Errol 
Spence Jr. Remaining unbeaten is trainer Derek James, a former pro. Errol is with our Dave Briggs. Dave. Thank you, Kenny Arrow. Congratulations. You said you didn't come here to win. You came here to put on a spectacular one-sided performance. Is this what you had in mind? Oh, yes, sir. I was going for the knockout. I'm fighting on NBC primetime, and I want to put on a great performance in front of these beautiful fans. It was a match where he came out strong, tried to make that opening statement. Did you sense that the tide was turning in that fifth and into the sixth? Um, definitely. Um, he's awkward. He's very awkward, and it came out switching. And um, it took me it took me a little bit of uh, a time to get it together. But when I got it together, start using my jab and start filling them out, I was able to break them down and knock them out. You made the motion after the win. You want a shot at that title. What's your message for Kell Brook, the current title holder? Come on, you know, his manager said that I, that I um, didn't want to fight him, so come on. He can drop out of Triple G fight and fight me right now. All right, over your right shoulder is your dad. He brought you to a gym when you were 12. You hated it in Texas. He made you stick with it. What's your message for dad for making you stick with it? I'd like to thank him and tell him I'm bringing the world title home. All right, so let's talk about that world title. When do you want a shot? at Kell Brook or whomever that challenger may be. Um, I want to shout out uh, Kell Brook as soon as he's done with Triple G. Um, you know, if he's not going to fight me, then he needs to vacate and I fight somebody else. But I definitely want that IBF title shot this year. All right, let's take a look at the video in the sixth round when this thing turned. Describe your two knockdowns or what happened. Um, I seen he was hurt. I seen he was hurt the first time when he dropped his mouthpiece. And then when I hit him again, I seen he was wobbling and his eyes kind of rolled it back his head. And that's when I jumped on him and went for the kill. And here you get another shot and it was good night. Talk about that. Oh, uh, that's great. That's what you want. That's what I look for. You know, my slogan is man down. You know, that's, that's what I try to do every time I come to the ring. This has been a unique venue and a very partisan crowd. You have a lot of friends and family here. What did that support mean? The support mean a lot. Um, you know, I didn't think everybody was going to come out like this, but they came out and they supported me, and I love them. And I'd like to thank everybody on NBC for tuning in and, you know, uh, using their valuable time to watch me fight. And everybody from New York that came out and people from Texas that came out, you know, to support me. I love it. Thank you. Errol, the truth, Spence remains undefeated. He'll get that welterweight world title shot. He remains undefeated after knocking out Leonard the Lion Boo.